Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone checking in on the market. So an indecision day today on SPY, a lot of tricky action going on. And with all the range that we saw today, surprised the volume wasn't higher, but it left us with indecision and a lower high. We have our high of the bull move, low of consolidation, lower high. And now the question is, can the bulls hold 270 or do we see a daily little lower high and lower low indicating that further consolidation on the daily time frame is coming? So 270 is a key support to be watching tomorrow. There was definitely what I feel was some inside information going on today. And let's look at the weekly chart real quick. First, back test hold of the middle Bollinger Band still in effect, and that is favoring the bulls as well. So here on the five minute time frame, the day we had today started extremely bullish. We then saw normal consolidation, and then it started to get more than normal with a volume spike and a big dump down, and then an all out dump, and then a V-shaped recovery. So looking at it on the one minute time frame, we had some initial signs that there was some very bearish action going on first happened right here on this dump and it was just a little three to four minutes of high bear volume dumping the price back down and that's when the bulls shifted from looking for a potential hourly bull flag and then that shifted everything so that happened then we traded for about an hour very bearish and then we started to dump again and we entered free fall mode with huge bear volume and then news came out right about here that trump and China deal, you know, didn't expect anything to go through with negotiations. That that article came out, and it wasn't even an article at that point. It was just a headline at 1.57 p.m. So after this five minutes of all-out bear volume dump, the article then is released. And then we dump for five minutes and hit the low of the day. The low of the day ends up being a double bottom with the low of yesterday. And then we see a V-shaped recovery and a huge bounce. And that $1 bounce ended up seeing options that expire tomorrow move, you know, anywhere from 40 to 70%. So anybody that reacted to that news negatively and sold either exited right at the bottom or went short and got immediately trapped. Yet we had the dump that happened before the news came out. And then by the time the news came out, the, hour, the five minute RSI was already down in the low 20s. It quickly dropped into the teens. And that's where the bounce origin, er, originated down at the low of the day. So in my opinion, someone definitely acted on the bearish news initially. And then we had a bullish complete turnaround intentionally as well, holding that low of yesterday and seeing that it was almost a little short squeeze type event. So IWM on the daily time frame, extremely strong still, leading the way for all the markets at all time highs. Bull flag confirmed and not looking back, just riding the upper Bollinger Band resistance as the RSI is approaching 70. So we need to be aware that healthy consolidation could be coming soon. But as we know, the bulls can run hard in blue sky breakout mode. Anything above 158.17 would be a higher low on the daily time frame. Weekly chart, extremely strong as well. QQQ, same candlestick as SPY. So you can see how much the tech sector and QQQ are guiding SPY in the short term. And the same thing here, we have the high, the low, lower high being set. And it's all about whether or not the bulls can hold 166.98. The financial sector is still a potential bull flag on the daily time frame, and the tech sector is trying to hold on to that current low. Weekly time frame for QQQ is still very bullish. Any consolidation, if we can hold this middle Bollinger Band on the weekly, the bulls will still remain very strong. VIX pulled back again. The bulls did defend the low of 1250, but the bulls do not have much to be going off of here. Higher low on the daily, have to see a break of 1501 to shift the momentum short term with a little higher low and a higher high. We've been rejecting from the daily middle Bollinger Band resistance multiple times in the last month. Weekly time frame, very weak bounce attempt. So there are a couple support levels on the daily time frame to be using as potential stop loss levels. But unless we see SPY break 270, the market bulls are going to remain in full control. So that's where we stand as we head into tomorrow and we'll see you over the weekend.